Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Trigger PH, and today I'm going to be talking about the Song of Era Utes. This weapon, you can get it from the Crota's End Raid. I've gotten two of these already, but uh, this is a really cool weapon. I really like it a lot. I'm not a huge fan of the heavy machine weapons. Um, I'm more of a rocket launcher person, but this one, I actually use this one quite a lot. It's fun to use, I think. It looks badass. I mean, you got all the, the bones going down the side with the skull at the front. You got, like... A little green seeping through. It's just a cool looking weapon. And uh, so let's just go talk through it and then I'll show you guys some footage of uh, how it can mow down some of the hive majors and uh, just anything that comes in its way. So usually what I start with, uh, or how I use it all the time, is a smart drift control. It's a predictable and controllable recoil in a penalty to range. So I like to keep it on this one. These are the stats uh, just for everything. Oh, and before I finish, keep going, magazine size, it says it's 35, it's a complete lie, it's 87, I'm not sure why it's lying to me, but that's just what it is, it's 87, not 35. Okay, so then uh, next you have the accurized ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil. This one, I, I just don't use, the, stabili the stability is just too bad, the kick is just crazy with this one, even though it has a higher range and a little bit higher impact. The stability, does, it's just too bad to want to use it like that. So pretty much what I do, I, I just stick with this one. And then this one right here, the aggressive ballistics. This is a, this, I, I would use this one if I know I'm going to be close ranged because this is a, a medium to close range heavy machine gun weapon. You know, when you get too far, you really have to, you do like burst your shots and then it just, it takes too long to kill something. So right here, I like the stability. This one, when the stability, it's still bad. I mean, not as bad as this one right here. The impact and range is up. The impact is higher than the middle one as well. And the range is, it's decent, and it's just got a little bit better. So, the range is too far. That's why it's a, a medium range weapon, I would say. But with the stability down that much, it makes it more of a closer range weapon. So... If you use this one, be sure to try and kill things within a medium range, not too far, because when it gets too far, the stability is too hard to control, and you're not going to be able to land a lot of shots you'll be missing, or you'll have to burst it, and you just won't get many shots off there. So that's why I like to I stick with this first one, the smart drift control, just so I can, you know, control the stability on it, control that recoil, and it still does a pretty damn good amount of damage. I wish it had a little higher impact, but it doesn't. And, you know, we, we deal with it. And um, I didn't say it, but you guys can all probably see it. It is Arc Burn, which is really cool. Because uh, whenever you have a Arc Burn, like, uh, Weekly, Heroic, or Nightfall, it's really good on those. And just on Captains that have the hard Shield. So that's cool. And then the next thing is the Dark Breaker. Projectiles will over-penetrate through Hive Night Wall of Darkness. I really like this one. Because you come across a lot of knights, like almost in, a, almost in every mission, you know, you, you see a knight, they're everywhere, and you can just shoot this thing up, get its shield to drop down, that way he won't shoot at you, and just shoot through his wall of darkness. I will try to show you guys how that goes down uh, in a little bit, I'm in a spot where I can get to some knights real quick. And so that's a really cool perk. I use that a lot. You know, just shoot at shoot at the night, shoot at things around it while the night goes into his wall of darkness and take out the night like that. And then you have an upgrade damage, uh, increase attack power and whatnot. But then we get to the next three. Next three perks. You have high caliber rounds, oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. The mass makes a weapon harder to handle. Really bad impact range. It takes it down a lot. That's why I don't use this one. It's just... The range sucks if you have this one on, pretty much. And then you have the flared magwell. Reload this weapon even faster. And this one, I don't have it on this one because, one, the range is just terrible again. But it already reloads at a decent speed, and so you don't really need that even faster because you got 87 rounds, and it reloads at a decent speed. It's not bad. I don't think it takes too long. I mean, it's faster than the thorn was, it seems like. And then we have the Hammer Forge, which is what I use all the time. Improved range and accuracy. So if I had it on this one, you get the range all the way up and just the reload is what it would be. Uh, just like kind of at the beginning. It's, it's not bad at all. With that range increase, it makes it all the better. Then we have the Grenadier. Kills with this weapon. Reduce the cooldown of every grenade. And uh, that's why I love it. Because I use a Hunter a lot. 
and those trim line grenades are just badass and they're good and so this is really nice getting kills with it it, re it reduces it can get more grenades in and then I have uh, just another upgraded damage and then this guy right here is really nice to be honest I mean I upgraded it I didn't notice it huge but if you don't have this on killing hive majors this is more difficult you don't do as much damage to them and so you can take down the knight you get the shield on it you shoot through the shield and you have hive major like increased damage so you can just you mow the hive majors down it's it's a really nice perk um, it's just this is what Oracle Disruptor would be you have this perk on all the raid weapons that you get so it's really cool uh, very helpful when you're fighting the hive majors and then you just have the rest of the upgrade uh, damage I need some more radiant shards or my bad radiant energy uh, to upgrade it the rest but um I still do, do a lot of damage at 318 attack, so let's go give this uh, weapon some give some weapon action right here. I use the ammo sin so I can have grenades. So here here is the reload rate of this weapon. It is not too bad, I don't think. That was pretty quick. I'm not too mad at it. And I think someone came and killed my knights. Oh, I'm going to be bummed if there's no knights there. Motherfucker. No knights. Alright, I'm going to have to give me some action. One second. Alright guys, so I just went ahead and started up a little full goth strike roll here. So, um, we're gonna get some action. Why is there still no knights? God damn, bro. I just am not catching a break. But, uh, in the meantime, I just want to say that this weapon, um, it is legendary, so that just makes it better. That way you can wield an exotic. That, I love legendary weapons. Those things... They're the best. If you can get a good legendary weapon, then that just makes it so much better because then you can have a really good, um, a really good exotic weapon if you, have, if you have one, you know what I mean? So, we'll use my sniper to try to get through this. But, oh, here's a knight. Here's a knight. Come on, go in your shield. I just want to show you guys the shield. You're going to go into it. Put your shield down, fool. Put your shield down. Okay, he's not putting his shield down. But I, I, that, I, I killed him pretty quick. I was just bursting him. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. See, the kick is not too bad on it, like, uh, if you guys could see right there. Let's try and take up. Oh, hey, guy. Let's see, right here. The kick, yeah, I'm able to control the kick, especially at that medium to close range. Um, once you start shooting it, it kicks up a little bit, but if you just hold, hold it down, what, like, that's where I like to aim at, like, the middle of their body. So when the kick brings it up, it's going to stay at their head, do more damage to them, hit that crit spot. And hopefully someone did this. Nope. I wanna I wanna kill some more knights real quick, guys. That way you can see the penetrating through the shield if they don't die too quick because we are doing a Fogoth raid. But yeah, just look at the weapon. It just looks cool. I love the green coming through at it. Oh, see trip mine grenade. We'll take out some thralls real quick. Uh, I'm just burst shooting these guys because I don't want to waste ammo. But if we can get a hive major, that'd be great. All right, get your shield out. Please put the shield up. No, you don't want to put the shield up. Do something for me, knight. Let's go. Put the shield up. Let's go. Put it up. What are you doing? Don't just stand there. All right. So even without the shield, guys, we are we are mowing these things down a little bit. There we go. Put the shield up, and you shoot through the shield and take them out. I love doing that. That's just fun to use. Now we are out of ammo. But yeah, guys, that is the the weapon. Oh damn! He put the shield up. Hey, nice grenade, guy. Okay. Yeah. So that is the song of ear. You very fun weapon to use. I like it a lot and it looks cool and just uh hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys do get this weapon i do suggest it unless you have the thunder lord i mean that weapon i heard is just pretty badass but that is an exotic and this is a legendary that's why i like this weapon God, I miss, that's why i like the weapon so much so um yeah just enjoyed i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe i'll be doing some more videos some more weapons especially this one right here and i uh, catch you guys all later in my next video peace out everybody